everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I just got my wig today and um, if you guys have noticed my face is quite pasty. Um, I went and put a little bit more foundation on because um, I'm going to be actually putting and testing out the Poison Ivy makeup later on. So I'm trying to give myself more of a pasty look even though it's supposed to match my skin tone which is doing. So but everything's just a little bit more even. I don't have any blush on so I just have foundation on. My eyebrows are hastily penciled in in my usual graphite shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I, you know, and I just did that really, really light because just to look good for now, even though I know I'm going to actually take that portion off and actually put on the auburn and everything. So you guys are going to see that later. But um, like I said, the wig came in, and this time, instead of that really crazy fire engine looking red, I went and got something which is maybe about two times more expensive. It's a lace front wig, and it is from the company called Reglamour. I think I said it right. It's R.I. Glamour. And then this is in the shade number 350 for deep copper. They have a bright copper and deep copper, but I noticed that the 350 looked, tended to look a little bit better than the 360, so we went ahead and did that. I'm going to go ahead and give this a light brushing with the paddle brush, even though it seems to be a little bit, has be a little bit staticky, I would say. But here is the wig, and um, you know, it has some sort of really strange um, asymmetrical part here, but the thing is with it is that you know, it's all, you know, it's all attached to this at the end of the day. Alright, so here is the wig. This is what it looks like and everything. You can see the lace front. They have um, a lot of lace right over here, I guess, if you have a lot of forehead. But and in general, you have to cut off the excess anyways. But this is an absolutely really, really beautiful wig for, what, $44? So I think it's an absolute steal. It looks actually, the color is actually very natural. Put this wig on you probably have to go ahead and just take some foundation or makeup and put it into this part right over here otherwise it'll just end up looking quite black and then it won't look natural but um it actually has three clips on the inside which i will show you guys so the clips look like this and um you know you just slide them into your hair and it also comes with a wig cap it's a cute little wig cap it's flesh tone but it's more fish netty i thought it was going to be more of a tight knit cap, but oh well, that's totally fine. But at least I got a wig cap because some other places that you order on Amazon, they don't even give you a wig cap. So, and then this is such a dense, full bodied wig, you know, for $44. And then it goes all the way down. I think it was like what? It's a 26, 24 to 26 inch wig. And as you can see, it start off, starts off quite bright up here. It's multi dimensional with colors and it becomes a little bit darker as you go towards the ends and the ends have this really nice gorgeous lustrous loose curls and ringlets all throughout and it's so has um i would say bigger and softer waves up top so this is something that i think looks very nice um i'm gonna go ahead and put it on and show you guys what the lace actually looks like. It's obviously not going to look right because the lace is going to come all the way up to over here before I cut it. My eyebrows are black um, and you know a whole bunch of other things. I'm going to try my best to just slide my little baby hairs and edges away but I'm not going to go ahead and seal them down yet because this is just like a very quick test run. So give me just a second I'll be right back. Alright so it's on. I have the wig cap on, I have the wig on, and the lace is still on because I haven't cut it or anything, but um, I know it looks ridiculous right now because eyebrows don't match anything, have no makeup on, but um, I promise you guys I'm going to try and pull it together. Uh, I don't even have blush or contouring, anything. But yes, it looks really good. It fits really tight on my head, and actually, this is all of my, um, all my hair is in there, and you can't really tell that it's, it's a wig. Yeah, it feels kind of like, um, there's a lot of hair. Maybe it's just me, but I'm not, I, I always have really, um, I don't have thin hair, I have a lot of hair, but it's actually very sleek. So I'm not used to my hair being so voluminous and everything, but of course it's a wig, so. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the 
lace to as close as I can to the um, actual hairline. The lace front's hairline is really right on top of my real hairline, so it's actually gonna look pretty decent, and um, we'll see how it goes. I know this looks so silly, but just bear with me. Hey guys, I had to cut this video short, but I will see you guys on part two. Check it out on the description box below, and you guys will be able to see me cutting the lace off of the wig and putting on the makeup for the Poison Ivy costume. See you then!